Now that we have studied the date number format, let's understand how time information can be entered in Excel. This is very closely related to the date number format. Let us enter the time information in cell A8. So I'm going to type, for example, 6 colon 0 0 space AM and hit enter. And you can see here that Excel is actually recognizing that as a time value. And you can see in the formula bar that it's storing 6 colon 0 0 colon 0 0 AM. And let's try with another one. I'm going to type 630 space AM. And now you can see that Excel is actually storing it as 6 colon 30 colon 00 AM. And this is nothing but in the hours, minutes, and seconds format. Now let's try something else. So for example, I'm going to type 600 space AM and Excel does not recognize this as a time value and it just stores exactly whatever we typed and it actually stores it as a text value and just like in the date format that we studied a video ago this is a text value and that's why Excel is aligning it to the left edge of the cell and if I'm typing in a proper time value for example 6 colon 0, 00 space am excel will align it to the right and once again excel was expecting this colon for it to detect that it was a time value it doesn't matter if you don't have 6 colon 00, 00 colon 00, 00 because if excel doesn't see the seconds component of this it automatically puts zeros and i can even type for example 6 space am without any colons and it can still detect that this is six hours, zero minutes and zero seconds in the AM. And this is because Excel needs a colon if you are providing the hours, minutes and seconds components. And if I am only providing, let's say 6 AM, which means I'm only giving Excel the hours component of it. So Excel will automatically assign the minutes and hours to zeros if it doesn't have anything. So let's see again, Excel stores six colon zero zero colon zero zero. And similarly, we can also enter time in the PM. So I will do six colon 30 PM and Excel will now store it as 630 PM. And I can also enter 6.30, 25 seconds p.m. So Excel will actually store 6.30, 25 p.m. And also keep in mind that we can also enter, for example, 16.30, 25, and Excel will know that this would be 4.30, 25 p.m. So I'm gonna hit enter, and Excel automatically converts that into 4.30 p.m. And if you look into what it's actually storing, it's storing 4.30.25 p.m. So let's do once again another example. I'm going to do 23 hours, 30 minutes, 10 seconds. And I'm just going to type enter. And then I will see that it's actually 11.30 p.m. Because 23 hours is nothing but 11.30 p.m. And Excel stores it in that format. And this is great so you have a couple of different ways of entering the data you can enter it with the am pm distinction or you can enter the military time or what is this 23 10 20 and this would be 11 10 pm so you have those two options available for you when you decide to enter time based information and let's say we have a date here, August 15, 2013. And let's see if I convert this into a time format and Excel is giving me a preview that it will actually store or it is actually storing 12 a.m. So let me try that. It's actually storing 12 a.m. because this is the beginning of the day, which means if we don't provide time component of a date, then Excel is going to assume the beginning of the day, which is nothing but 12.00.00 a.m. 
And also you can notice that the way Excel stores this information in the cell, it actually stores the date, 8-15-2013, and then the time is 12.00.00 a.m., which is the beginning of the day. And if you think about it, in both of these cells, the how it is displayed is controlled by the number format, but the way it is stored in that in this cell, since we already entered the date August 15, 2013, it is keeping the date component and it's also now showing that it's actually zero or it's the beginning of the day, so 12 a.m. And if I go to the cell A8, here we, sh we see that it is 11, 10 p.m., but in the cell, it's actually storing the hours, minutes, and seconds p.m. And, and let's see, for example, how we can enter date and time together. So I'm gonna to go to the cell and I'm gonna enter, let's say 15 August 2013 space 06.30.00 a.m. And now Excel is actually storing it as August 15, 2013, 6.30. What we need to understand is that we can store both date and time together in a cell. This leads us to the discussion around how Excel is actually storing all this. Excel uses time as a component of a day, just like in real life. Each day is equivalent to one unit. For example, so I'm gonna type in here 41501. And as we have studied before, if we convert a number to a date, then we can see, for example, here, let me choose the long date. So you can see that that number that we typed in, which is 41,501, is actually a Thursday, August 15, 2013, because Excel stores dates as numbers, and it represents the number of days since January 1st, 1900. And that happens to be Thursday, August 15, 2013 here. So if I type in 41,502, that is Friday, August 16th, 2013. So basically each unit there is, an, is a day. And so if you think about a day having lots of hours and lots of minutes and lots of seconds, so, so half a unit or for example here, 41,501.5 should be the middle of the day, correct? So let's try that and hit enter. You can see that it still shows only August 15, 2013, but look at the formula bar. It, it is actually 12 p.m. on August 15, 2013. So we can try once more, 41,501.25, which is a quarter of the day. Let's That should be 6 a.m. in the morning, right? So I'm gonna hit enter and you will see 6 a.m. And let's try again, 41,501.75, and this would be 6 p.m. in the evening. And let's try it again, and we see that it's 6 p.m. in the evening. So what this means is that Excel is actually storing time also in terms of numbers, just like it does the date. So now that we understand how Excel is actually storing both date and time in terms of just numbers. Now let's also understand how we can control how times are displayed in our worksheet. So I'm going to choose here time format, which automatically defaults to this hours, minutes, seconds display, but I'm going to use control plus one to open up the format sales dialog box where we can see there are some more options available for us to choose how we want to display this time value. And you can also see that we can display both date and time together. And let's say I choose this. I can see that there are dates and times displayed together. And I'm gonna go back to my dialog box here. And we can also choose custom. And when you choose custom, you will see some date and time combined custom formats available. And we just briefly talked about the custom format in the previous video. These are some slightly customized and slightly different number formats compared to the standard ones available. And you can choose any of these 
to control how you want to display the value in your cell. Time number formats are used, for example, in companies where hour of the day is very critical for the business. For example, in call centers, you can use this to understand the volume of calls coming in different times of the day so that you can staff appropriately. In companies where employees are paid by the number of hours they work, Excel can be used to track the number of hours an employee is working and report, and then that could be used for payment of the employee salaries. So Excel has a variety of uses in terms of leveraging the date and time formats. And in the upcoming videos, we will learn how we can manipulate and do a variety of calculations using the date and time values.